Alright guys, uh, Ali McMullen here from MJ Racing. Um, this is my escort Cosworth. Here yeah, we brief spec rundown about it. Uh, obviously four wheel drive, Cosy YB, 400 horsepower, T34. I'm running the uh, 750cc injectors, high left cams, five speed sequential gearbox on it, which just makes it just so good. Fiberglass panels. Um, really light, uh, love the carry parts, great car. Basically use it for, uh, basically a track car, um, but with gear like passenger runs around uh, not car as well on it. Um, basically just promotes our, our MG racing site. It's just a fun car really, I just use it for, for having a laugh really, that's it. Um, good with the anti-lag, you'll probably have seen that in the video. It's anti-lag, I've got launch control on it. Um, no, as I say, it's not big power. But it's a good laugh, good all rounder really. I love it to bits. We actually found it in actually lying in a field, would you believe? Uh in Straven. Un sitting there unloved. Um didn't look anything like this. Obviously we've restored it and put the camo uh wrap on it. Uh but lie lying in a field, uh not running, no batteries in it, no fuel. Um done a deal with the with the girl to buy it, bought it, brought it down the road started to restore it or paint it and I was just checking the uh, just as you do you would just like look at welds and look at uh, different bits and bobs on the car and we saw this little chassis number on the on the roll cage and it was I think it was uh, HR 9303 or something like that and I'm like trying to put two and two together um, in fact it was HRW which turns out as uh, Henry Wolf racing, HWR it would have been, um, and the actual sh body shell was used in the German Touring Car Championship back in 1993. Um, no, unfortunately none of the running gear, none of the engine uh, or anything else is original to the Touring Car but the body shell is. Um, so that's just a, a, wee, a wee special thing about the car. Um, it's obviously been converted from left to right hand drive. Uh, that's obviously happened when it came back in this country. Um, but aye, great all-round car. Uh, I probably would never sell it, I'd probably just keep it forever. Me and Scott Tolan, we run MG Racing, which is that car and this orange one. You've probably seen that on YouTube, Instagram and things like that. We race this this one in the Scottish Mod Sports Saloons. Uh, it used to be the Scottish Motor Racing Club, which has now changed to the Mod Sports. So we race that at Knock Hill, uh, and hopefully go. We'll be going down to Croft and uh, Alton Park and stuff like that uh, in the next coming year. This one here, similar to that, but this one's full race. Um, this is 550 horsepower. Uh, it's got a five-speed dog box, not sequential, still H pattern. Uh, obviously four-wheel drive, bigger diffs, much bigger brakes, and actually much lighter. And uh, this is like a full-on race car. Um, this will give a lot of skylines and a lot of heavy duty cars a run for their money. Maybe it doesn't look much, it's quite tractor like, but it performs on track. Um, again, great car. Ah, that is how you would normally see an SR20. So that technically is the same engine, but this one's reworked. Reverse head. Shoved right back into the, the bulkhead. That's the kind of evolution. The evolution from normal touring car to super touring. What we've got here is actually, you probably, you probably won't recognise this as an SR20 engine. Now it's reverse head. Uh, so, i.e., we've reversed the head on it and re engineered it. Uh, it runs 
cam belts to the chains, um, and that was for them to move the engine right back in the chassis and basically make it engine. Further NG racing stuff that we're doing is, um, I don't know if you follow us, on, follow us on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that, we have got a, a series of X british Tour or BTCC uh, Nissans, we've got two, we've basically got two Nissan Primera P10s we use um, in historic sports car clubs, that's HSCC, and we get invited to uh, like Silverstone, uh, Alton Park, Gold Cup, uh, Brands Hatch, and we race against the same kind of cars of, their, of that era. Um, so as I say, we've got two two Nissan Primera P10s. We've also got two Pro 98 Pro Drive Hondas, but we've not had them out for over 15 years. Um, so really, we need to get them out. Um, and we've got a nine, an 09 uh, Focus XBTCC car as well, which we'll we'll try and campaign in the next coming year. MJ Racing, in general, really, we're it's more a kind of private thing. Um, you know, like me and Scott, and it's it's more of an insight into what we get up to, our passion for Cosworths. Um, you maybe not see that there, but we've got a, a Sapphire Cosworth that I, I bought basically as a lockdown project. Uh, it's a 2.4 YB with a BMW gearbox, blah, 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 two-wheel drive. And that Hopefully I'll have that down and kind of finishing that off in the next week or so, actually, because um, I've got the... the, the the wire looms to get fitted to that. I've got a full blown RS500 um, three door, um, which again is full race, rose jointed suspension, full sequential, um, running a Notronics uh, ECU, and that should be about 550 horsepower. Uh, unfortunately, I've not built it historic spec because of the sequential and the turbo and the inlet manifold, but that was more of a fun car. I actually used up some spare parts <laughs> and I just chucked them all into that and just to make a car really. Aye, should be a fun car. It'll be a primarily a track car um, but not eligible for this historic stuff that we do. Um, I have got various other RS 500s which are eligible yeah. which you'll probably see in, in later videos. MG Racing as a whole kind of developed from if you split it up, MG Racing, it's actually McMillan Jaguar Racing. Uh, my passion from probably seven years old was Jaguar. And uh, it's just developed from there. I started repairing and buying and selling spares for Jaguars 34 years ago. Uh, and I'm still at it now. It's a disease. Uh, I've got a big passion for Jaguar. Um, and, and for me, it's enabled me to have these guys you know it's, it's been a means to an end um, to allow me to buy and, and race these cars which I've been doing since early 90s racing Sierras and Escorts and stuff like that on the Jaguar side of things we have got um, which I've probably not said to anybody yet but we've managed to get a hold of this will probably be maybe a two or three year project but we've managed to get a hold of an ex an ex Jaguar Le Mans car, but a modern Le Mans car, like an XKR, uh, 2007, um, that'll probably be maybe two or three years time, we've basically got the body shell, a lot of parts for it, and we'll be assembling that, and, and that's actually the first racing Jaguar that'll kind of combine McMillan Jaguar and MJ Racing, so it'll be like, an, 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 I'm looking forward to doing that actually. Aye, yeah, that'll be like a five litre supercharged sequential monster, Aye. basically, all winged downforce and stuff like that on it. Aye. Um, so that's that's future of that.
can follow us on YouTube, MG, what is it, YouTube at MG Racing, yeah. and MGM-J-Racing -dash -dash on Instagram, you'll get us on there as well. As I say, it is just tongue-in-cheek, it's just, that's just a bit of fun, really, that's it. Um, but aye, people seem to like it, so aye, I'll continue to do it.